Hello friends, hope you are doing well. So today we will discuss how duplication works in Commvault. Hope you have seen my previous videos where I have explained how encryption works and how indexing works in Commvault. Please like those videos and subscribe the channel. So and today we will discuss about the duplication works, how duplication works in Commvault. But before going for the duplication process, let's take a look at how Commvault software handles the recovery of data in a single pass. To convey this process, let's take a look at a simple data protection operation. I'm just considering one example here. In, in this example, a media agent communicates with a server to determine the data that needs to be protected. A full backup of the data is then conducted. Thereafter, incremental backups are conducted. Yeah. So here we have taken four incremental backups subsequent to the full. Let's assume that at this point in time, the server experiences a catastrophic failure and needs to be recovered. Then Convert Media Agent Index all data being written to the storage target so the administrator can view all backup data from any point in time regardless of backup time. When the recovery process is initiated, Convert software looks at the most current version of object that were present at last backup and identify those objects. The media agent index is leveraged in order to gather the most recent copy of each file in the backup and these files are utilized to conduct the system restore. Convert software intentionally knows how to combine the latest full backup with incremental backup to present a point in time image to browse for recovery needs. So now I will cover the convert duplication uh, architecture. But before that, let's start with some advice about dedupe ratios. It's an age old argument and you will almost certainly come across in your sales campaign. Here's why it's largely relevant to your own customers and how you can take the higher ground. So the question is why does a high dedupe ratio not matter? To achieve a high dedupe ratio, what do you do? It is quite simple, run a higher number of full backups. Okay. So that's a bit extreme, but actually a high dedupe ratio means you are reading, transferring and processing large quantities of data only to have all that thrown away. A 10 is to 1 ratio means you are throwing away 90% of data. 90% uh, of data you read and process. A 20 to 1 retrieve ratio means you are throwing away 95% of the data you read and process. Right? So how do you get a high retrieve ratio? By reading and processing the same data over and over again very frequently. Or for longer periods of time. Think of all the work the infrastructure components have to do the source disk, source CPU, the network, media server, etc. They do only to have all the effort go to waste because the data already exists on the storage target. With Commvault's approach, we only read, we only read and process the new and relevant content that has not been backed up yet. And do not waste time and resources on data we already manage. But doesn't a large number of incremental means the restore operation will be painfully slow? Well, with certain vendors, yes, which is why they recommend running more frequent faults. So just now we have explained that single pass recovery technology, right? That smart indexing layer enables Commvault to recover a full system from an extremely large backup cycle without having to replay all the previous incremental backups. 
that is something the others just can't do. In reality, our storage footprint is about the same as a 20 is to 1 ratio of lines. But to wrap up and to give you the final proof on why the deduct ratio conversation is irrelevant, let's look at some numbers. What is the true difference between 8 is to 1 and 20 to 1 multiplication? Eight is to one is eighty seven point five percent efficiency. Twenty is to one is ninety five percent efficiency. A difference is of seven point five percent. With today's data size, what does seven point five percent represents? Seven point five percent of hundred terabyte is equal to seven and a half terabyte. With the cost of storage from the major two cloud storage vendors at less than two cent per month. So for less than a couple of hundred dollars of actual disk space, the customer is considering spending tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars on a duplication of lines and maintenance. That will compress the data and allow for long term time, long, long retention times, right? Vendors of these solutions will tell the customer that they can store years of data on the box. On average, 95% of all restores from backup are done on data that is between 24 to 48 hours old. Hope you will agree with this point. The need to store data on expensive disks for a long period of time is just a waste of money and other resources. So let's start by exploring the process that Commvault software undertakes when deduplicating the data. Here we will examine the core process regardless of where these processes are taken are taking place in a com cell. We, we will start out with the data stream. Commvault software first compresses the data stream using software compression. It then segments the compressed data stream into identifiable blocks. A hashing process is performed against these blocks which provides each block with a unique signature that can be leveraged for comparison purposes. These hashes or signatures are then compared to a database that has registered the hashes of data that has been stored in previous operation. Lastly, on the blocks of data that have been identified as unique through the lookup process are then written to the storage target. Negotiation of these blocks and their location are also appended to the duplication database for future reference. Okay, so now I will cover a number of key areas to help you understand convert duplication and the benefit that it delivers. And the main key concepts are source side duplication, target side duplication, duplication database, global duplication, and lastly, the dash copy. So, let's start with the source and target side duplication. Source side duplication, which is also commonly known as um, known as client side dedupe, leverages a client based disk cache known as source side duplication database which contains a signature for the data blocks related to that particular client. With source side duplication, redundant data is identified at the, at the client and is reduced prior to the network transmission of that data. Right. Yeah. So target side duplication on the other hand conducts the comparison process via duplication database resident on a media agent prior to writing to data to the storage target. So this is similar in fashion to many deduplication appliances which bundle a server, software and storage in a single target device. Yeah. 
A convert follows a similar methodology to our distributed indexing functionality as I explained in my previous videos of where I have explained the how indexing works in convert with the distribution of deduplication record information. When a particular piece of data is written to the storage target, the signature and location information related to that object or job is also stored with it. This allows us to only use the deduplication database for check-in or lookup processes only. An important differentiator is that the deduplication database is not required to restore any particular piece of data. Yes, I am repeating that the deduplication database is not required to restore any particular piece of data. It is a key note uh, that with Convert software, customers do not have to make an all or nothing decision when it comes to the type of deduplication appropriate in their environment. Both source and target side duplication may be designed in a customer environment to suit their needs. Yeah. Next is Dash Copy. Dash Copy is a technology that enables the transmission of data in its deduplicated reduced form factor between media agents. This includes the capability to recover data and maintain different retention periods, both independently from the primary copy. This reduction in consumption So this reduction in bandwidth, bandwidth consumption facilitates disaster recovery and also eliminates the need for vendor specific appliances or array replication for disaster recovery purposes. Yeah. So next is global duplication using storage pools. So Convert software also provides a global deduplication capability wherein Copies of data from multiple storage target may be combined together and referenced through a centralized deduplication database. This is achieved by creating what are this is achieved by creating a storage pools. This allows customers to collapse wider group of common data into a global pool to maximize the level of efficiency with deduplication. Increased deduplication efficiency is achieved by way of having a larger common pool of blocks to reference against. It also provides customer a great deal of flexibility and allows them to design fan-in scenarios to maximize the utilization of storage targets. A global duplication storage pool can span secondary sets of dash copies in a single data center repository as depicted in this diagram. Hope you have understood that how duplication works in Commvault. Please like the video and subscribe my channel for updates on the latest videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.